Well, hello everyone. It's been quite some time. Welcome back. Oh crap. Yeah, this is why I checked beforehand. I forgot to add some exhibit animals. We have those now. Yay. Right, we should be good now. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the mod showcase. I'm totally prepared, otherwise known as Leaf. It's so great that you guys are able to join me as we check out the latest new species mods and other kind of cool mods that are now on the Planet Zoo Nexus. As always is the case, new species mods, mods really just aren't endorsed by Frontier, but if you do mod with like all the caution in the world, I guess, you guys will be fine to use these. I have a ton of tutorials that'll help you guys learn how to mod or how to actually install mods, and you guys can probably use that too. Just get these guys. I don't know. Without further ado, let's start off with a bang. This is the Drop Dead Gorgeous Secretary Bird by Gushy. This is incredible. Like, it's been so long that we've gone without a Secretary Bird. But look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. Secretary Birds are probably one of the most iconic African birds out there. They're not really too well known within, like, the public sphere. But I think within the zoo sphere, everyone knows what these sassy little birds are up to. Look at them. Oh my god. So yeah, they are just a beautiful, beautiful model. Gushy's first mod in Planet Zoo, which is honestly incredible. I mean, look at all the detail that Gushy was able to put in to, like, the face. They even got, like, those pretty swanky eyelashes right there, too, which is just really cool to see. And, of course, they have a unique baby model right there. Really awesome stuff. It's so awesome that we finally have a secretary bird in this game. And it looks gorgeous, too, which is so fun. Yes, even though we don't have an official secretary bird just yet, this animal is still incredible. And I really do hope you guys check this one out in particular, because it is so beautiful. It works so well. Moving on from there, we have a remaster to an older mod. This is the new Barberry Macaque. Originally made by Giorno Pizza, but now remastered by Gaboy. This is now just fantastic. Barberry macaques are the only primate to be found in Europe, technically the only other primate if you count humans as primates, which I don't see why you wouldn't, but they are found on Gibraltar, and I think they're also found across, like, some other parts of Andalusia, I'm not sure, uh, but they are found in, like, North Africa and stuff, which gives them the name the Barberry macaque. They're just a really, really solid monkey to have right here. I don't think they're too common stateside, but I understand that across the pond, they are a very common monkey species. Really beautiful UI by Robustus as well, who also has his own YouTube channel now, which is so cool. Uh, but yeah, they're just a really, really solid monkey. Look at the little baby, too. Gaboy, like, never does primates, but when he does, they are always so freaking awesome. Look at that. So cool. Now, moving on from there, we are looking at our first cross-mixed species frog, I guess? I don't know. Narwhaler was finally able to figure out how to get exhibit animals to be in different environments, I suppose. And the first thing he did was make the European tree frog. Very iconic European species right here. When people think of Europe, they don't really think of tree frogs. Whenever I think of tree frogs, I usually think of like the Amazon or something like that. But look at these beauties. Just really, really awesome mod right here. It's just a really awesome way to allow like a new environment into your zoos i suppose it's just so cool i don't know i like that now we also have some butterflies as well we could check these guys out i believe this is the erasmia pulchella i'm not really too sure what that really translates to but you guys can check out the handy dandy zoopedia on these guys again these guys can share their habitat with any other butterfly such as paper kite butterfly which is a beautiful beautiful little mod over here i believe yes i know for, that both of these butterflies were originally made by phonetic i've been working with phonetic to bring his stuff to being new species to being new exhibit species so it's just really awesome that we were able to bring this very iconic one i only know this from animal crossing which is so fun to see, but they're just a really, really beautiful looking butterfly species right there. I believe both of these are based off of the monarch butterfly. Not only is Narwhaler phonetic in this, but Jen is as well with Scott, bringing the leopard gecko to Planet Zoo as a new exhibit species. Look at this little goober. I know so many of you guys out there probably have a leopard gecko as a pet. They make for fantastic pets. 
if you get them captive bred, please try and avoid, like, wild-caught specimens as best you can. Leopard geckos breed relatively easy in captivity, though, so whatever you're getting is pro But they are just a beautiful, gorgeous little animal right here. Look at them go! I don't know, it's just awesome. When Jen had this, I was, like, freaking out because I was so excited that we can finally get a little leopard gecko in this game. Look at him. He looks so disgruntled. Now, in case if you guys aren't aware, the layout system for the exhibit mods, in order to fix this right over here, because I know this gets reported on the Nexus, we don't have a fix for it just yet, but all you need to do to fix this is just load out of your game, then load back into the same map. You guys will be just fine. Next on our list, we do have the bar-headed goose, which is a, I believe, Asian species of goose by the lovely Narwhaler. I think I already covered this one. I feel like I already covered this one, but you know what? In case if I did, we're just gonna cover it again. This is still just a beautiful looking model, so I feel like we should honestly still cover it. It's just really freaking awesome. Narwhaler and his birds, man. I don't know how he does them so well, but they are just beautiful. You can see that they do have that migratory pattern right there where they kind of reside in the warmer months up north in Europe, in like Russia, Mongolia, etc. And then for the summer, they come down to India, uh, I believe, the Cambodia, I think? I'm not sure. I gotta look more into that. Moving on from there, though, we are looking at the latest remaster on the Planet Zoo Nexus. This is the Emu remaster. Absolutely gorgeous. Another incredible work by Gaboy. Look at this gorgeous beauty. Oh my god. But yes, many of the issues that people had with the original Planet Zoo Emu were the fact that it looked more like a sub-adult than a real adult. So what Gaboy did, he essentially just made it into an adult. He really just let it age a few years and then it looks great now. The other cool thing that Gaboy did was actually give it a lot of alternative patterns, which is really freaking awesome to see. You can see that we have like that classic blue emu kind of look right there. But the individuals that we have in here as well, we have a little bit more of a sandy individual. Uh, which is really, really freaking cool. I don't know. I really do like that. And overall, this is just a really, really solid remaster. Really do recommend you guys check this one out. Now, we do have two tortoises today. Woohoo! We do have the gopher tortoise, which is a species of tortoise, which is found, I believe, in Florida and Georgia. It might be found in Mississippi and Alabama. I'm not really too sure on that. But they are a very loud tortoise i'm gonna pause the game so they stop breaking my eardrums really solid animal right over here i used to see these guys all the time whenever i was down in florida they're a very common species to see in zoos down in florida because of their conservation status i believe they are currently listed as vulnerable by the iucn due to the fact that florida and florida governments like to build on animal habitats all the time it's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Meatball Ron DeSantis. Uh, that's about as political as I'll get on this channel. But that is really it. They're just a really solid creature, made by Phonetic and coded by myself. Super happy that we finally have that species in the game. And you guys might be noticing, oh my gosh, what is that? Is that the Herman's Tortoise out of its exhibit box? Why, yes, it is, my friends. This is just a silly little mod I wanted to do. It does require the Eurasia Animal Pack, but essentially what it does just lets you place this animal as a habitat animal. So technically it's a separate animal uh, from the actual Herman's Tortoise. So if we pop like over here and you type in Herman's Tortoise, you can see there's one right there. But if you come over here to this animal market, you can see that this one does have the habitat tag on it. So that's the way to distribute. Distribute? distinguish between the two. Gaboy is not done with us just yet. We also have the Sumatran Tiger. Oh my gosh, beautifully remastered by Gaboy. This looks intense now. They are so freaking loud. Why are all my animals so loud? Regardless, you can see all the beautiful new changes on the face right over here. Sumatran Tigers, to me, have always been known to have this very fluffy face on them, and they just look absolutely killer now with Gaboy's latest remaster. It really is so incredible to see the length of details that Gaboy does to go for creating his mods. And the colors in here, just the shading, the patterns, it really is incredible to see just how beautiful this animal is. Incredible work, Gaboy, as always. 
Now, very quickly, we do have... I know you guys have been asking for this one for quite some time, so I teamed up with Ophelia Sims, uh, otherwise known as Nekno, uh, to bring the PFAL variants to life. So now, this works as a new remaster. Uh, it doesn't really remaster the PFAL, unfortunately. I would love to do that eventually, but right now my skill set does not qualify for that. But it does add... Five new morphs of the Peafowl, including Piebald. We have this Opal one right here, which is probably one of my favorites. Uh, that one is Piebald, I think, which is kind of cool. We have this Charcoal one. We have, like, this Midnight one, or Bronze, I think that one is. It's just super, super pretty. Look at that. That is Drop Dead Gorgeous right there. But, yeah, it's just a really solid mod in case if you guys do want to add some new morphs in here. Uh, in order to get more morphs easily, I do recommend downloading Planet Zoo Plus. It just ups the ante when it comes to, like, the albino spawn rates in here. I do have it installed so you can see if we start scrolling. Oh my gosh, it's not really doing it for me today, which is a little bit of a shame. But you can see we have a albino Amor Leopard. We do have the Arctic variant. Um, and yeah, it, it does help out a lot with that. You could adjust the values however you want. Now, moving on from there, we are getting into the lovely little world of birds. Yes, a huge shout out to our good friend Great Cake Mods for this one. This is the Kakapo. The Kakapo is a very rare bird found in New Zealand. It is super beautiful, and look at that. It does climb trees, just like it does in real life. Obviously, not the perfect climbing animations, but what... Ne uh, what Grey Cake does with their mods is so incredible to see that they actually were able to get these animals to climb. I don't know. It's just so freaking awesome. But yeah, it's just a really, really solid looking mod. Once we do get Taxidermy working for new species mods, this is going to be unstoppable because you could have them be animated in their places and have them do like cute little animations. I don't know. It's going to help out so much. But it really is such a beautiful looking mod. You can see all those alpha planes with the face right there. Super awesome. And what they work with with the feathers is always so incredible to see. Great work. Great. Now I think the mod that everyone is going to go crazy for this week is the Mandarin Duck. Again by Great Cake Mods. I believe it does add iridescence which is honestly really cool. You can see that with like the feathers on the head right there. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Like... That is so cool how you got that to work. We need, like, an iridescent tool baked into the Cobra tool so we could do this so much more easily. Because I tried. It's pretty hard. Um, but regardless, this is probably one of the most beautiful ducks in the entire world out there. The Mandarin duck is found in Asia. Of course, we also do have the females right here, which are still extremely beautiful. Look at them go. That is so cool. And we also do have the little chicks right over here. Look at them go. Super adorable. That is so cool. But again, Great Cake Mods never fails to make us l just leave our mouths agape at so how wonderful. I I'm really great at making words right now. At how beautiful their animals can turn out. So really incredible work on that right there, buddy. And they do have interspecies enrichment with like your classic Asian animals too, which is always great to see. Now we do have three more mods today. We are looking at the North American Camel uh, by Vince, uh, or Nudo, as you guys probably know him. Really, really beautiful animal right here. Super simple. They have this really unique hump on their back, and they do have a very, very gorgeous looking coloration. Uh, Nudo handed me these mods to code three or four months ago, and they finally came out because I finally had time to actually work on them. And look at them. You guys can make these beautiful looking new environments now. It's just so cool. We also have the North American Cheetah, which is based on the Cougar. Uh, really beautiful looking spots on this animal right here. Look at that. What I love about this animal is that face structure. That is so cool to see. I'm not really sure on paleontological accuracy right here. And these guys would not be friends in real life. Uh, but it really is such a beautiful looking mod. My favorite though is the Tetrateramix. I believe I'm saying that right. Tetrameryx. Uh, really awesome looking animal right here. Very closely related to the pronghorn antelope, which is why it's based off of it. They do have this very kind of cool Nike swoosh going on with like their antlers right there. That is very cool to see. And again, a very beautiful color, pa color pattern on these animals. Really incredible work on that, Nudo. Really do love to see that. But I think that is it for our showcase today. 
Again, we had an explosion of exhibit mods the last time, but now we are looking at some incredible habitat mods. My favorite has to be the Mandarin Duck, which is why we're going to end it with them today. And look at that beautiful, beautiful albino right there. So cool. But once again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I always do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like down below. If you guys did enjoy it and let me know your favorite animals in the comments down below. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Take care and bye bye.